what is up YouTube? This is Josh over here at American AF Dumpster Rentals in Dallas. Quick little video today. I'm gonna talk a little bit about softwares, insurance, tips, and tricks. softwares it's a common question that still gets asked even though I've done multiple videos on it so I'm gonna answer it today in this video what software do I use I use DRS dumpster rental systems or dumpster rental solutions I'm not quite sure what that stands for top of my head DRS they are an excellent software company to use it is a little more in-depth than, than just dumpster tracking or software tracking or CRM it covers it gives you a website it gives you uh, the back-end system it gives you the, not really live tracking but it does allow you to enter in where your dumpsters were last so that you can see on a map where your dumpsters are at at any given time it gives you routing information for your driver if you have multiple drivers or even just one it lines it all out it gives you uh, you know, it tells you how much time it takes to get from point A to point B for that driver. Uh, so you can estimate roughly a, a route throughout the day of how long it's going to take to do all your runs. It gives you, they have an SEO option. They have a uh, Google Ads uh, management option. They have, I mean, there's just a ton of features. You can, they also do credit card processing. So your credit card processing will be through them. Oh, what else? All kinds of features, guys. And again, online booking through the software for your website. They build your website for you. All that good stuff in about, I don't know, don't quote me, but anywhere from, I think, 100 to $200 a month. I think right around there. I think the average price is probably 150 a month. Uh, and if you've ever built a website, you know that that's well worth it, really, at the end of the day. However... It doesn't mean that's the only player or the only option out there. I have also used Docket in the past. And Docket is excellent. Let me be honest with you too. Docket is much cheaper. It is a little bit more, uh, a little bit less features. For those of you guys that already have a website possibly or that don't need a website, don't want a website right now, Docket will be able to manage your dumpsters for you, send your customers text messages, so does DRS. Send your customers you know their invoices and all that stuff and, and it manages your system and it's not just i think dumpsters but i think they also do jump removal and all other types of stuff so and i think now they do have a feature to integrate to do online booking i'm not 100 percent sure but i believe and don't get me wrong when i used to be with them they only allowed payments through stripe so i think that's that's the only holdback that was one of the only holdbacks for me as well as online booking, which now I know, I, my understanding is they have some sort of way to do online booking. So Docket is also an excellent option. And I believe, again, unless prices have changed, they're right around the $50 a month mark. You, If you use the link below for either DRS, I've got a link for DRS and I've got a link for Docket. Um, you could do a free two, two week trial with Docket and if you use my link, I believe you get an extra two weeks. So you can try out the software for four weeks for a full month for free. Uh, just got to use the link below and uh, and you can get that. And then you can just try it out. Give it a test run. And if you like it, great. Use it. And if you don't, you know, move on to a, another software uh, or you try DRS. DRS, they don't do not give you a free software or free trial. They have to build the website. They have to do all that stuff uh, to get it all ready. They have to link your, your online booking, all that stuff. So that I, I, there's more work involved than just a cloud-based software to give you access to. They, they do all that front end work. So, but there is a link to do a demo with them. Uh, use that link so you can go schedule a, a time to do a demo. And then you compare the two between Docket and, and DRS. So those are gonna be the only two that I highly, highly, highly suggest. There are a couple other players out there. I think it's called Workies. 
Um, I do not work with them. I never have, but I, I, I hear that they have a decent software, but it's, uh, it's not really geared for one thing or the other. It's more like a general, if you do, you know, plumbers can use it. Any, anybody can use it that does like contractor appointments in other words, but uh, don't, don't quote me on that. I'm not hundred percent sure. So, but in my personal use, I've used both docket and DRS and I would highly suggest them either one of them really to anybody. So just, you know, I, I, I don't really, I don't really, they both have their, their pros and cons. Uh, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. So use the links below, give it a try. Uh, as far as other softwares that I use, I use Canva all the time, but also it's because I do YouTube, but I use Canva to do any graphics or, or any, uh, web page specials or social media specials, I should say. Um, you know, so Canva is awesome. Obviously I use, I use gas buddy for, you know, getting gas at different locations. I use a credit card. So let's talk about credit cards. Uh, I highly suggest that you, if you have a business, you open up a Capital One Spark credit card, a Capital One Spark business card. I will also post a link below for you guys to uh, get an application. I got the credit card right when I opened up my dumpster business. I get 2% cash back, which is awesome for business. I mean, if you run all your dump fees through there if you try to run if you run your fuel through there if you run your credit card or your 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 car payments your insurance payments whatever no matter what you do you get two percent back and i would highly suggest doing that because at the end of the year what i do is i go in there and i uh claim my two percent and you can claim it in all kinds of gift cards i did a ton of home depot cards but you can do Starbucks, you can do anything really. Um, and I think you can even ask for cash back. I'm not 100% sure on that. But you get 2% back of everything that you spent. So, I mean, that's huge, guys. 2% out of one day isn't a big deal. But if you hold that on for a year, you're looking back at everything that you spend. I mean, if you're running uh, even an operation of like I'm running, what? Right now, this year, I'll probably do about $200,000 for the year. Um, that's not expenses, obviously. That's just gross revenue. But let's say 50% of that is goes out at least. 2% of that. I mean, we're talking about a good chunk of change. So make sure you guys use that. Use the link below. Uh, that way you get a little freebie. I get a little freebie. And, uh, and yeah, we help each other out. But that's going to be the number one top credit card that I would suggest you use for a business for me. I mean, everybody might have their own personal choice, but again, 2% cash back. I also have a Southwest Airlines uh, Chase credit card. And, and if you want to, if you want to do airlines, if you want to travel and you want a, a point, you know, per dollar that you spend, then use that one. I, I'll also do a link for that below where you can apply for that one. But those are two good business credit cards that I would suggest using. <sighs> what else? Let's talk about insurance. That's another big question I get all the time. Insurance, insurance, insurance. What insurance do you use? Okay, so for a commercial truck, my first year for this this Ram and my dumpster, my dump, my roll-off trailers, I used Progressive. Progressive gave me a good, a great deal for the first year. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head, but it wasn't it wasn't terribly expensive. It was more than the personal insurance, obviously, but not too expensive for being commercial insurance. And it covered my dumpster. So I gave them a dumpster. I'm sorry. I covered my roll-off trailer. Didn't cover all the dumpsters. But it would cover the dumpster if it was on the roll-off while you were driving. It also covers dump trailers. So for those of you guys running cargo and dump trailers, you just got to give them the VIN number for the dump trailer or the trailer. And it will cover that as well. So if you have one truck or five trucks and one trailer or 50 dump trailers as long as you give them the VIN numbers it'll be covered while you're while you're driving uh progressive was great first year what happened after that well after that i got the hino and progressive did not come back with a competitive policy for the hino my, my hook lift so i ended up having to go with a broker i used goosehead insurance and they got me insurance 
for, again, a very competitive rate compared to what Progressive was charging. So you have to find a broker in your area that will write uh, dumpster rental services. So it's not like you just call Allstate and say, hey, hey, I have a dump trailer or a dumpster tr business and I want insurance for it. This is just covering you. This is just auto policy, auto insurance. Um, this is not general business or general liability insurance for your business. This is if you get in an accident, if you hit someone's property while you're driving, things like that. If your truck catches fire, knock on wood or something like that, that's what this is for. So you gotta find a local broker in your area. If you're in my area in Texas, try calling Goosehead. You can drop their website as well below. You can give them a ring and see if they can cover you. Uh, and then for commercial liability insurance, which means your business insurance, this is just to get you covered so that you don't get personally sued, right? Tip number one is to make sure you have a, a separate entity. You know, if you're just a sole proprietor and you're doing it as a side hustle right now, that's fine. But if you start making some halfway decent money and it turns into more of a business versus a side hustle, you definitely want to get yourself some insurance for your business so that you personally, you know, can should not get sued. So separate your business from your personal, which means get an LLC, use something like LegalZoom if you have to, to actually form a corporation which is what I did, and then get yourself some business uh, business commercial liability insurance, which is general liability insurance. For that, I use Next. Hands down, the easiest form of getting insurance and very, very, very reasonable. Uh, I think it's like four or 500, maybe $600 a, month, a year for a million dollar policy. And this is just to cover me if somebody gets injured while my dumpster is at a location. They fall inside, they climb in, they hop on the rim, they fall in, they crack their head open, it covers me, okay? Uh, so get yourself some general liability. Next insurance, I'll also have the link below. Make sure you use that link and we both get a little bonus. Anyways guys, with that, I am done. We will see you guys on the next one. Smash that notification bell, hit that like button and we will see you guys on the next one.